What's up, music fans of the internet? I'm Kevin. I'm Derek. And together we are last week's album, The Only Reviews, with two different views. And in this episode, we're talking about the new album by Sleigh Bells called Jessica Rabbit and exploring the big question, will Sleigh Bells draw you in on Jessica Rabbit? Cheers, Derek, and everyone at home. Cheers, Kevin, everyone at home. Sleigh Bells, in case you don't know, are a Brooklyn-based noise pop duo made up of songwriter and guitarist Derek Miller and vocalist Alexis Krauss. They share production duties on this latest album, along with Mike Elizondo, who's worked with Dr. Dre, Eminem, Fiona Apple. They were formed back in 2008. Their 2010 breakout debut, Treats, really put them on the map. And they followed up with 2012's Reign of Terror and 2013's Bitter Rivals. So that makes Jessica Rabbit this new one, their fourth album. So let's talk about what this album sounds like. Derek, what do you think? Kevin, I think a little more melodic and greater loud soft contrast makes Jessica Rabbit sound like not your mom and pops sleigh bells. Nice. I see what you did there. I think it sounds like Heart, Def Leppard. Katy Perry, and Chairlift performing as cartoon versions of themselves. I'm guessing that would not be a Saturday morning cartoon. Yeah, definitely more of an Adult Swim affair here. Let's talk about some highlights from the album. Derek, what do you got? One highlight to me, Kevin, was how more melodic it was than some of their earlier albums. I thought this showed through instrumentally and vocally. There was more of a focus on Krauss's voice. It was no longer just another instrument adding to the sensory overload, but they really focused on her vocal abilities to really strong effect. And instrumentally, I thought it was much more diverse than some of their earlier albums. One highlight there to me was the soft acoustic guitar and subtle piano on I Know Not To Count On You. Soft acoustic guitar and subtle piano being things never used to describe a Sleigh Bell song prior to this. Yeah, uh, there are definitely some firsts here in the overall production. There's just a much wider variety of sounds here than I myself expected. Flavors of hip hop, R&B, EDM, chiptune, noise, as you mentioned, Derek, acoustic. They sort of break all the rules and they break their own rules. And we get some really interesting and I think positive sounds out of that here. I think that really ties into my next highlight, which was just the greater contrast between loud and soft. I thought a lot of tracks featured different musical phrases and they alternated throughout, making them very intriguing. One highlight to me there was Unlimited Dark Paths, which seemed to swing back and forth between EDM and hard rock, two musical genres that really have never shared much space, share space in the same track here. I think uh, one of the things that jumps out here is they're playing with extremes more so than ever. I think we've heard them do that in terms of volume and loud and soft in the past, but here they're changing up arrangements. Um, they're trading off between smooth and jarring. And I even really like how right out of the gate, the tempo changes really abruptly on It's Just Us Now. And then the second one is sort of this one minute ethereal sidebar almost called Torn Clean. And so the first one two punch sets you up to know that there's going to be a lot more tension, a lot more interesting change ups here. One of the tracks that really stood out to me really reflects a lot of those themes. The fifth track, Crucible. This one starts off with just a barrage of different sounds, putting the listener off balance at first before even kind of settling into a semblance of a coherent melody. I also enjoyed I Can Only Stare. It sounds like this sort of 80s throwback with some dark synths and not Smiths-ish guitar line. And then you mentioned this one earlier, Derek, Unlimited Dark Paths, just a great mix of variety of sounds. It almost sounds like a DJ remixed a Sleigh Bells track in a really good way. Some good highlights there. What about low lights? Did you have any, Derek? Small gripe. It may have felt a little less experimental, only in the regard that in-your-faceness was still there. That was just bound to catch up with them at some point. I have uh, two small gripes. Number one, the track, I Can't Stand You Anymore. I Can't Stand Anymore. Just the production and the lyrics feel incredibly uninspired. And then secondly, the name of the album, Jessica Rabbit, I felt like there was gonna be some big concept overall, and it 
you know, I think they touch on a lot of the same themes, but Jessica Rabbit didn't really jump out or take on any new meaning for me. Maybe I just missed it. All right, enough highlights, enough lowlights. Let's talk about overall rating and answering the big question, does Sleigh Bells draw you in on Jessica Rabbit? What do you say, Derek? Kevin, you know, to answer the big question, will they draw you in? I think yes, but they may push you away for a little bit, but then there's going to be another turn in the rabbit hole that you just can't pass up. Good things here, you know, obviously – more melodic. However, the sensory overload is still intriguing. And as we discussed, it's really executed in a very different way. The expanded instrumentation really helps them achieve that. So while it doesn't have the bare bones familiar feel in regards to just the bit, uh, drums and guitar, as we mentioned, I think there's enough else going on that's going to satisfy Sleigh Bell fans and maybe bring in new listeners. So that being said, I'm giving this one a three out of five. We'll agree and disagree. It will draw you in, I think for sure. I think it's a very ambitious album. It's sort of all over the place, but in all the right ways. They're taking a lot of chances with new sounds, new emotions, and I applaud them for stepping out of their comfort zone on this new album. I think it feels about the right time for Sleigh Bells to do that after three albums of a sound we've come to know and love. This is a nice um, evolution for them. And I think it's a great album. So I'm going to give this one a four out of five. So with Derek's three, that's combined seven out of 10 for Jessica Rabbit by Sleigh Bells. So definitely check out this album and let us know what you think about it. We would love to hear it. Don't forget to subscribe to us here at last week's album, either on the podcast or the YouTube. As always, I'm Kevin. I'm Derek. Cheers, guys. We'll see you next time.